377V Vengeance fifth wheel toy hauler here at Hala Harvey of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, I might make this exterior tour a little brief. I'm kind of dodging raindrops out here and I had a little break in the weather and when this one came in we've had a lot of folks looking for it. I wanted to get it online right away. Um, this is uh, one of the bigger members of the Vengeance family. It's uh, as the model number would indicate about a 37 foot box uh, plus uh, you know a little bit of closet space and whatnot. Um, keep in mind also, some of the options that you see in this may not necessarily be equipped on the one you're taking home, for instance. The Onan generator here is an add-in that we put in here. First you generate and prep it, then you add the generator. And this is awesome because it'll let you take this anywhere, anytime. But, uh, you know, this video is here as stock footage. I don't, want, uh, I don't want folks to look at this and say, well, that's the exact trailer I'm taking home. It very well may be, but it may not be as well. Um, take a look at the text part of our descriptions so that you can kind of have a good idea how these are equipped. And if I'm walking around a little bit funny and jostling the camera, I am sorry. I'm trying to kind of dodge mud puddles as I go here. Um, your Vengeance is, uh, this one being upgraded, this is maybe a little less true, but this is what I call the working man's toy hauler. It's, it's got, it's very affordably priced as compared to a lot of the other things that you see out there. It keeps all the critical features, but it cuts out a lot of the extra fluff that can increase a price tag. Um, the, uh, this one, you, you may have noticed as we're walking through down here, it does have the fueling station included. The one we're looking at has the patio party deck set up. I've got uh, you know half up, half down in this to kind of show you how it works. Um, while you're traveling, you leave it folded down like this. If you need to just totally take it off for loading purposes, it's very easy. You just simply pull a couple of these pins and these aluminum bars pull right off. They're not heavy. Now, when you're set up on your deck, you can set both halves up like this and they can kind of lock together. So if you have kids running around, it's, it's kind of difficult for them to sort of hop off and walk off of this thing. Um, a Vengeance is a true toy hauler. By that I mean it is wide body. It's eight and a half wide. It does have a dovetail, uh, about two foot dovetail on the back, which is pretty big. Um, I've seen a lot of manufacturers begin to stop using that dovetail because it is uh, a little bit trickier to build and work with. The uh, disadvantage of that is without that dovetail you have a very sharp angle of attack and you can bottom out your rake with bikes, especially if you've got one that's raked out pretty good. Now um, they don't have traditional um, window like curtains and whatnot back here. They use these snap on blackout shades so that it keeps this shade tucked against the wall so your handlebars don't clip it. Actually, this shade, you'll notice, doesn't even stick out as far as any of the lights. Now, in the one that we're looking at here, we're looking at two options right now. We added the uh, Happy Jack system with the hide -a bed on top, along with the, uh, you know, the, 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 the drop-down sofas, pardon me, I can almost speak. And uh, that is kind of complemented by the little freestanding table here. What's cool about this table is you can use it anywhere anytime you can take it out under the patio awning you can use it over here on the deck where i'm standing right now and uh, you see that this deck is strong i'm bouncing on it right now and it's you know it's really not moving a whole lot sorry if the camera juggled there again um the other thing that we're looking at here is the tent screen wall uh when you are set up at your campsite you can drop that down and uh, you can keep your patio space back here bug free and almost use it like an enclosed patio space. Very cool stuff. We did add, a, it looks like the, uh, the little carpet area here. Again, once you pull your toys out, you roll the carpet out so you have something a little more cozy. But you do notice that this does have the nice rubber grips, uh, non-slip stuff for easier loading. All of your D-rings are screwed directly into the floor. They have, I think, something like a 2,500 pound load capacity on each of those. Um, the... Light switches are really cool. When I when you have power run to the unit and you flip a switch on, it'll glow blue so you know that switch is on. Because otherwise you spend a lot of time flipping things on and off trying to figure out what goes where. Now, a couple things we're looking at here. This is a half bath model. So uh, if you are using this like a bunkhouse, it's awesome. Or if you're working on the bikes and uh, you know you don't want to haul a bunch of uh, you know dirt through your trailer, you don't have to. Even back here, though, they give you just a huge medicine cabinet. And I apologize for all the traffic noise. We have this parked right up next to the highway, and as a result, it's picking up a lot of noise. Um, you see right here, we have a couple neat things going on. Washer, dryer prep, first of all. So if you're going to use this more of like a seasonal camper, it is good for that. Uh, this right here is a uh, TV mount. 
you mount your TV to this little bracket and then you can just quickly mount release it in different areas of the coach. Uh, bedroom, uh, back here, outside, there's four different TV zones. Um, I believe this trailer that we're looking at, as it is equipped from Vengeance, has three televisions. We have the main big living room TV that in this particular coach we did upgrade. You'll notice they are missing. Uh, we uh, take those out and store them so that you're the first people to take them home. And you notice immediately it is far quieter in here. And that is because these have pretty decent insulation levels. So not only does that kind of help with the uh, uh, just general heating and cooling, but also just the comfort and privacy factors of it all. Um, we did upgrade to a uh, gas and electric refrigerator so you can take this one anywhere um, rather than an electric only fridge which is really going to put some work on your uh, generator. This will allow you to run the fridge on propane which is colder anyway and your generator to run your AC if you're off the beaten path. And this is a big fridge. I believe that's a 10 cubic foot fridge. A lot of toy haulers start at a 6, they upgrade to an 8, and this is a 10. It's 67% larger than a standard um, AC, or pardon me, fridge. Now, this whole thing is one big slide. Now, the advantage of that is you're getting all this extra storage up here. Huge amounts of storage you normally would not get. And to give you an idea how deep that is, those cabinets are as deep as this countertop, and it goes past a grown man's elbow. Um... The one we're looking at does have upgraded countertops and sink fixtures. Again, these are options. Please double check the options list on the one you're taking home. That being said, they're very cool. Very modern and, and futuristic looking. I like those a lot. Um, the furniture in here, I, what is this? I think this is called Mocha. I could be wrong. I get the color schemes mixed up a little bit. Again, um, I always try to make our listings accurate. You see, the uh, we have upgraded uh, not only just the furniture in general, Especially this right here, we've upgraded to the 70 inch theater seat. So you have two individual recliner kickouts with a storage arm below. Now, something else I like in Vengeance is the height of their slide outs. I'm standing in the slide out, and you can see how much room is above my head here. You will not hit your head in this slide out, you just won't. The other thing I like is huge windows on these slides. And uh, all of the uh, your, your two big side windows open for just an immense amount of cross ventilation. Um, another thing I really like on these is the wooden plantation style blinds versus the cheap metal blinds that can get kind of bent up and twisted up real quick and easy. Looks like we did add a fireplace to this one. That'll operate like an electric space heater so you don't have to burn up all your propane. Um, when you do upgrade to the larger TV, you get with it the JBL soundbar here to kind of improve your whole audio experience within the living room of the coach. And a standard item uh, is the Samsung Blu-ray player here, so you can enjoy some really nice quality high definition movies when you're on the road. Um, the uh, ceilings in here naturally are extra tall, and where that's really advantageous is back here in the loft. A lot of people don't realize this one even has a loft because they built this coach with the loft in mind. A lot of times from a design standpoint, a loft is added after the fact. They're like, oh, we should put a loft up there. Well, it steals from the garage. The way they built this one, that's really not a concern. Now, what's cool about this bathroom is you can get to it right from the entry door, meaning you can get to it while you're going down the road, or you can get to it from the bedroom at night. And you see that we have a standing shower, not a travel trailer tub. And you do have plenty of countertop and, and leg room in here. So if you are you know, looking to get dressed, you do have room in here to do that. You don't have to get dressed in the living room and kind of put on a free show, if you know what I mean. Uh, we did add the second air conditioner to the one in this video. That is an option that you can put into these. And uh, again, the you know the benefit is just making sure that you have maximum cooling potential. A lot of these big fifth wheels, you know, they're just so much cubic foot of interior space that a, an air conditioner struggles to keep up if you only have one. And here it's less of a concern. Um, this is a, an additional slide over here. Darn it. Whenever I point the camera right at those windows, it gets dark on me, so I try to skirt around them quite a bit. Now, the uh, idea here is that you're gaining a lot of wardrobe and storage space, which unfortunately, due to the light, you're having a hard time seeing. Let me see if I can get you a better view of one. Here we go. And, uh, you know, this is all in the slide out. This is just bonus storage, bonus space that, you know, normally would not be there. Plus, you have all these extra deep um, dresser drawers as a result. And here's just an idea of how these are put together. It's all plywood, real um, boxing 
on your drawers, you know, so it's not something you have to worry about twisting and falling apart. And something that I like a lot in, in a lot of the new Forest River rigs is the little charging centers as twin USB ports and then a, uh, you know, what we grew up calling a cigarette lighter. But the advantage here is you can take, you know, you don't have to have a, a special charger for your mobile devices like your phones and your tablets. You can charge those in several areas of your coach. There's actually another one in the living room. And over here, you have a handy alarm clock shelf and they almost hide away the little power outlet back there in the light switch. So that's perfect for your alarms and your fans and whatnot. And in every Vengeance fifth wheel, we do have the Vengeance King bed. So you do have a larger bed space for comfort and just convenience purposes. Um, I think the only thing I haven't mentioned yet is just the built-in ladder to get you up to the loft bunk so mom and dad don't have to hoist the kids up there. But all in all, this, this coach has a lot going on and there's a ton of value here. And you can take one of these home for far less than quite a few of the other big uh, fifth wheel toy haulers out there. And we're a dealer of several other products. We generally carry pretty much only Vengeance in our fifth wheel series now because they have, you know, 10 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack and they're built affordably and they're, they've really come along to be built pretty darn well. We've had a great service record with them in recent time here. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.